Namaste. Welcome to all. Today we'll discuss an interesting problem of finding say angle of a sector. See here the cone is made into sector. See that is the challenging. How the cone can be made into sector? Cone, you know, cone model it is. It is a unique three dimension figure which will have one flat surface, one curved surface, and one end vertex. Only one vertex. See, I took a chart, sir, this completely surrounding the cone. Okay, curved surface area of the cone. Okay, completely covered. See, I cut. If I cut and open this, that is made into a sector. See, sector. You know. Okay, with the, it will be to having. It is a region formed by two radius and an arc. See, arc of a circle. That is form. That cone is made from this sector. See, okay. And how the dimensions are converted means one minute. How the dimensions are converted means here. See, this slant height is there. No, if you cut here, then the sector is formed. That will become the radius of the sector. This yes will be radius of the sector. This s will be radius of the sector. See. And this curve, this is the circumference of the circle. No, that will base of the cone will become the length of the arc. Okay, that kind of things will transform. How this slant height is transformed to this slant height is transformed to radius, and that well, circumference of the base. How will you calculate circumference of the circle? Two pi r. Okay, this will give the this will become length of the arc. Here, see there to avoid confusion, radius of the cone I took r one. Radius of the sector is smaller. Okay, now we have to find slant height. See, then only we can get the radius of the sector. Here, see for cone two heights will be there. One is vertical height that is they have given ten centimeter. Radius of the cone R one we denoted. Here diameter is available. See, from this end to that end means diameter. Radius is half of diameter that is six centimeters. Now you have to find slant height. Here one uh, right angle triangle is there. See, you can name them if you want. ABC is right angle triangle. It is right circular cone. No, right angle triangle is there. Right angle triangle means you can apply Pythagoras formula. Hypotenuse square, the side opposite to 90 degrees. AC square will be equal to sum of squares of other two sides. That is AB square plus BC square. AC is nothing but the slant height of the cone. AB is vertical height. The BC is radius of the cone. You can use this formula to find the slant height. Radius, uh, vertical height is 10, 10 square. Radius is 6, 6 square. 10 square, 100. Six square thirty six, so one thirty six. Yes, the square value, not yes. Slant height, if you want, you have to send that square to that side. Then that is square root of one thirty six. If you use calculator or dot method, you'll get the slant height as eleven point six six. That will be approximately equal to eleven point seven centimeters. Slant height, you found. Now you see the radius of sector. What you tell? Radius of the sector is nothing but the slant height of the cone. No, so radius of the sector you got now that is eleven point seven centimeters. So you are close. You can find the no angle, but you should know length of the arc also. Radius is not enough. Okay, length of the arc you find, then we'll uh, think about how to find the angles. To Pi value, pi is irrational number. Approximate value three point one four or twenty two by seven. You can take radius is six, two six are twelve, twelve and three point one four. You have to multiply twelve four is forty eight. Four is carry forwarded. Twelve one is twelve. Twelve plus four sixteen. One is carry forwarded. Twelve three is thirty six. Thirty six plus one thirty seven. Two decimal places are there. You have to add here. So length of the arc is thirty seven point six eight. To find If see to find the angle of sector, why we are finding length of the arc? Length of the arc formula, you know. Okay, if theta is in radians, 
it is l length of the arc can also be found by r theta formula theta is in radians so now if you want to find the radi angle of the sector it is the ratio of length of the arc and radius that is the reason why we found radius as well as radius we found and length of the arc also we found so that we can find the angle of sector radius is 37.68 whole divided by 11.7 that is radius if you divide them you will get the angle of the sector angle means it is the angle made by this arc at the center of the circle okay how that is how much means that is 3.23 will come 3.2 radians you see even you can convert into degrees what you have to do you have to multiply with 180 by pi then you will get in degrees uh, that 180 by pi means it is approximately 57.3 degrees that means you will get approximately 180.36 This is a uh, if you round off to one digit, one eighty point four degrees. One eighty point four degrees. This angle. If you radians measure three point two. If you want to in degrees, that is one eighty point four. Lot of learning is there, no? Very interesting, no? Please like and subscribe for more videos.